we have spent a lot of time in studying different sukuk structures. These sukuk, they are issued by governments, sovereigns, they are issued by corporates, big businesses, and in some cases, they are issued by banks themselves and multilateral institutions as well. Sukuk is uh, an instrument which has been in heavy demand right from the beginning when it got into Islamic finance market. As a result of that, whosoever would buy Sukuk certificates, they would hold those Sukuk certificates until the maturity. The result of that was that Sukuk market was actually highly illiquid. What do I mean by that? This means if I have uh, Sukuk certificates, I am holding these Sukuk certificates with me and everyone is doing the same thing. This means if someone wanted to buy Sukuk, this Sukuk would not be available. And if someone would like to sell, because there was no established market for buying and selling of sukuk in what is known as a secondary market, someone who was holding the sukuk until the maturity, they might find it difficult to sell sukuk on time. Of course, they would be able to sell sukuk very quickly, but very quickly means maybe it will take one week, two weeks if there is no market because they will have to call here and there or oh, we have got some sukuk you want to buy. So because of that kind of culture of buying sukuk and holding them till the maturity sukuk market was or the market for sukuk certificates was highly illiquid. Some fund managers, they came up with the idea of setting up sukuk funds. What does this mean? Whenever there would be a new sukuk issued, these guys would also buy sukuk certificates. And they would buy these sukuk certificates not for holding them till maturity, but for the purpose of investment. So they would set up, they would set up a sukuk fund, and these sukuk certificates would come into that sukuk fund. What does this mean? Actually, the Sukuk fund would be buying the Sukuk certificates. Where would the money come from? From the investors. So, a Sukuk fund actually works like any other Islamic fund, Islamic equity fund, Islamic private equity fund, or so on from structural viewpoint. So, a Sukuk fund is set up. The investors are asked to invest in it. When they are investing in the Sukuk fund, they are actually buying shares into those Sukuk, into the portfolio of Sukuk. These Sukuk funds get investments normally from the institutions. Banks would be interested in this type of uh, Sukuk fund, some corporates which are looking for some liquidity management solutions, they might be interested in a Sukuk fund and so on. The returns on these Sukuk funds normally are not very large because Sukuk is a kind of debt security. When we discussed Sukuk, we said this is a security which has a profile of a hybrid security between debt and equity. But most of the sukuk, they are closer to a debt structure rather than closer to an equity structure. So these debt type of sukuk, they offer relatively small return. Another reason for this small return is that they are deemed as highly secure. So those institutions which are looking for 
parking their money for some time to earn some return as well, they would be interested in these Sukuk funds. In the beginning, there were very few Sukuk funds, but now we have started seeing emergence of quite a few Sukuk funds. These Sukuk funds are domiciled in Malaysia, in the Middle East, and their issuance or their creation, the creation of Sukuk funds is becoming popular in other parts of the world as well.